Question, questions to the Prime Minister, I start with Robin Miller. Mr Speaker, from tomorrow, Stop a minute. Give it a job. Give me the word in. Order! Order! I say to the honourable gentleman, give me the I will not tolerate such behaviour. If you want to go out, go out now, but if you stand again, I will order you out. Make your mind up. Either shut up and get out. Up a minute. Does somebody want to <clears throat> do what wants? Give me the order, order. Sit down, you won't be in the future. I now warn of the honourable members that if they persist in refusing to comply with my order to withdraw, I shall be content compelled to name both of them, which may lead to them being suspended from the House. Right, names. To ensure that the Honourable Member complies. Can it? <coughs> Where's the names? I order! Shut up. Shh! Neil Hanvey, I am now naming you and Kenny McCaskill to leave this chamber. Sergeant, deal with them. Deal with them. <coughs> deal with them. Just sit down. Out. No. Sergeant at arms, escort them out. <laughs> Take them out, Sergeant. Let them out. Can we? Insurrection. Now then, let's just see if we can. Oh. Mr. Costa, you don't want to go and escort them to the tea room, do you? <laughs> no, I suggest not. I think you're a good and better behaved than that. Right, we'll try again after that. Prime Minister, Prime Minister we'll now go to Robin Miller. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Neil, you were just kicked out. What are you doing? Well, it's a democratic outrage. We have a mandate for a referendum in Scotland. This is a Prime Minister who's distorting parliamentary democracy, who is denying Scotland its legitimate right to a referendum. And at the same time, we face that Scotland is an energy-rich country and over half our people are going to be facing fuel poverty. It's time Scotland had the right to determine its own future rather than having a future determined by a handful of Tory MPs and then by a handful of Tory members, none of whom have been elected in Scotland and indeed no Tory Prime Minister has been elected in Scotland in my lifetime.